hi and welcome back to my channel and another recipe so I am going to make from the Slimming World website falafel um, I'll show you that again just bear with me a second just turn the brightness down there we go falafel so obviously it's made from chickpeas um, so I couldn't decide between making falafel and making hummus uh, but my good friend Tess SW has just uploaded a really good recipe for hummus which I will try and remember to link below. So I thought I'd go with this option for my can of chickpeas and that's giving away one of the ingredients. But yes, if you want to have a go at making sin-free hummus, then pop over to Tessa's channel. But let's see what we need for the falafel. Uh, and the this version is sin-free. It says it serves six and it's freezer friendly. So what we need is a can of chickpeas. It says 225 grams canned chickpeas. So this, this says drained weight is 240. So that's there or thereabouts, isn't it? Uh, one onion finely chopped, two garlic cloves crushed, a teaspoon of ground cumin, a teaspoon of ground coriander, pull that round the right way. It says one small red chilli, I just decided to get some crushed chilli so I'll probably put about a teaspoon of that in. Fresh coriander and fresh parsley. Well, I've already got the part the coriander, and I've got some dried parsley as well. A quarter teaspoon of baking powder. Now, normally that would have sins, but a quarter teaspoon between six uh, is not really going to count. Um, salt and freshly ground pepper, and your fry light or low calorie cooking spray. So the first thing we need to do is drain the chickpeas and rinse well. So that's what we'll do. It says to rinse them under cold water. This is the first time I've made this recipe by the way, so keep your fingers crossed. I've just peeled my onion and garlic and I'm just going to very roughly chop them and then get them in my Briefton's chopper. So I've got one onion and two cloves of garlic. If you want to, um, if you want to use garlic powder or granules, then that's up to you. So I've got my little brie uh, Briefton's chopper here, pull cord one. Stick my onion in there. <laughs> Normally I grate my garlic, but as I'm chopping my onion, I might as well do the garlic in there as well. And. Just pull it to the top. I got this from Amazon, they're quite popular with Slimming Worlders. I'll just carry on pulling that until it's a, it's finely chopped. Right, so I've put my chickpeas into a bowl. The recipe does say uh, to blitz this in a food processor, but I'm actually going to use my hand blender but if you have a food processor then you want to put the, the chickpeas in a food processor so we've got the chickpeas there which have been drained and rinsed well then we're going to add the onion and garlic you can see how finely it's the brief tins have chopped it So we've got the onion and garlic in there. 
And then we want to start adding the other things. So we want a level teaspoon of ground cumin. I'm going to knock some of that off because I have a history of putting too much herbs in things. So that's the that's the cumin. A level teaspoon of ground coriander. There we go with that. One small red chilli de-seeded and finely chopped. Well what I'll do is I'll put about a teaspoon of these chilies in. These crushed chilies. Yeah, we'll see what that's like. Then this is when you want to add your fresh coriander and your parsley. So I'll add about a teaspoon of parsley, dried parsley, that'll do. And I'll probably add a bit more coriander instead of the fresh. Another half a teaspoon. So then we want to um, start blending. So as I say, if you have a um, food processor, then do it in there. But I'm going to give it a go with this. So I will come back when that is finished. Right, so here we have the blended chickpea mix. And then we want to add the quarter teaspoon of baking powder. So we'll just stick the end of a teaspoon in, about that much. And then we want to add some salt and pepper. And I've just given it a taste and I think I could add some more chilli. So I'm just going to add another half a teaspoon of chilli. <coughs> a good stir. want to keep it in the bowl and chill in the fridge for an hour so that's what we'll do we'll put it in the fridge for an hour so I will see you shortly so my falafel mix has been chilling in the fridge for about an hour and what it says is take small pieces of the pureed chickpea mixture and form into little balls between your hands and flatten out slightly and arrange on a baking tray that has been sprayed with fry light. So I've got my baking tray here with fry light. This recipe does say serve six. So maybe we'll try and make 12. I'm not sure how many to make really, but. I've got, oops. We'll go for that size at first, see how we go. So yeah, I'll try and get 12. So that would be two each, but we'll see. So I'll come back to you when I've finished. Right, so I managed to get 11 out of the mix, which is quite good. It means I've got 
Um, some for meals and maybe a couple for snacks. I've preheated my microwave oven to 220 degrees and I'm going to cook them for 15 minutes. I can't remember whether I said at the beginning of the video that I'm also going to make a satsiki dip to go with my falafels. Anyway, I got this recipe from Tom Kerridge's programme. I can't remember what it was called, but it was the um, dieting one anyway, uh, where he helped people to lose weight. And he's actually made a sin-free satsiki dip and I really, really fancied it. So what you'll need for this is 200 ml of plain yogurt, fat-free. I've got my favorite Greek style fat-free uh, natural yogurt from Aldi. 140 gram or five ounce piece of cucumber. A small garlic cube, finely grated. Two, te two tablespoons finely chopped mint leaves. I bought some fresh mint because I really fancied that. A pinch of sea salt and a pinch of sweetener. So I'm going to get my master chef in to chop my mint and uh, we'll measure out the other ingredients as well. So I've got 140 grams of cucumber here and I'm just going to grate it. And then he does say to um, squeeze the excess moisture out. So we'll give that a go. My um, glamorous assistant is chopping my mint, aren't you love? No. I've got my grated and squeezed cucumber, my very finely chopped mint from my husband because I have not got the patience for things like that. Um, and then I'm going to measure out my yogurt. Oh, and I need to, oh, my garlic, I need to grate my garlic in. So we need uh, 200ml of the yogurt. This one from Aldi is a really nice yoghurt. Just make sure you do pick up the one that says fat free on the tin for it to be free on Slimming World. So, change it to mill and we'll get. Now I know I won't eat all this with the. Um, with the with the um, falafel, um, but I thought it would make a really nice dressing for salads because that's what I'm loving at the moment. So that's about 200 ml of the yogurt. We'll tip the cucumber in. Just squeezed it out in a couple of sheets of kitchen roll. Then we'll get the mint in. This is another dip that I've always loved. Say when you get them at the um, get them from the Indian or somewhere like that. And then we'll grate our garlic clove in. Again, for something like this, you can use your um, powdered or garlic granules but I do always think it's nice to now and again have a little bit of a splash out on um, proper fresh garlic so we've got a garlic clove in there and then we want some sea salt Of that put in. You can always taste it and see how it tastes. And a pinch of sweetener. Now that's up to you whether you want to put that in, but just another little shake of that and give it a good stir. A 
probably will taste better after it's been in the fridge for a while, but we'll give it a little taste. Mm. A little bit more sweetener, I think. Mm. Yeah, that's nice as that. Nice. So my falafels are still cooking away, so I'll be back shortly. Here we go. I put them on for 15 minutes at 220, and I felt they weren't quite done, so I turned them over and put them on for another five minutes. They're still quite um, soft, and it has burnt the tray. Um, so I think what I'll do next time is I'll put them on um, kitchen foil. But I'll put them on a plate now and let them cool a little and then I'll um, probably taste one for you. There we go. You can see they're still quite squidgy but I think that's how they're supposed to be. Oops, that one's falling apart. I'll probably taste that one then. I think you need to be quite, when you're pressing them, you need to do the balls quite well. Mm. I'm not quite sure how this serves six. Because if I was eating them as a meal, I think I'd need quite a few to fill me up. But there's the falafels I'll come back for a bit more tasting in a minute right so here we go I've got the um, falafel which broke up and I've got a bit of the satsiki dip to try mm. Mm. yeah they're really really nice Mm. Probably could have done with a bit longer in the oven actually because they're still quite breaking up. Mm. They would be really nice on a like a couscous salad. Mm. A bit of a kick. And that satsiki dip is lovely. Mm. Yeah, I really recommend those and all sin free. So there we go. My sin free Slimming World Falafels with satsiki dip. I'll try and take a nice photo. I'll get Andrew too. I will try and remember to link the Falafels recipe, which is on the Slimming World website, and Tom Kerridge's satsiki dip which it but that's also on the bbc uh, recipes website but i will try and link them below but try it it's really delicious thank you so much for watching